How does VPS hosting work? In this video, we're going to look at shared versus VPS hosting, who should use a VPS, and where to get VPS hosting. What is VPS? VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. It's a server with its own copy of OS and allocated server resources within a bigger server. Essentially, it's a machine divided into several compartments with separate server software. And it functions independently from other servers and other websites. Let's take a look at shared versus VPS hosting. With shared hosting, your website shares resources with other websites. You'll have limited server controls. You'll likely have access to cPanel, but not all the options that cPanel offers. But the benefit is you need zero IT knowledge to run it. So let's take a look at it from a graphic standpoint. So you're going to be on a dedicated server, which has a number of system resources that includes disk space and RAM. But all of the different websites are going to share the same resources. So if this website here is using a is getting a ton of traffic and using a lot of resources, then if your website is over here, it's going to be affected by this one. So if this is bogging down the server, all of these websites are also getting bogged down. Now let's take a look at VPS hosting. With managed and unmanaged, you have exclusive access to the system resources allocated to your website. You're going to have access to WHM, cPanel, and root access. Now, you're not going to need any IT knowledge. It is beneficial, but unless, of course, you're using a managed uh, system, uh, an unmanaged VPS, in which case you will. But you're going to get higher uptime, and it's more scalable than shared hosting. Now, let's take a look again. You have a dedicated server where the RAM and the disk space is partitioned for each of the VPSs. So if VPS2 is getting bogged down because it's getting a lot of traffic, it's not going to affect your VPS over a number one. This is the big difference between shared and VPS hosting. You're utilizing just your resources, which means you have a lot more control over what happens if things are getting bogged down. What is cloud VPS hosting? It's almost impossible to talk about VPS hosting without talking about cloud VPS hosting, in today's standards at least. In the past, a lot of times you'd have a physical server that would be used for a VPS, whereas now a VPS can run across multiple clustered servers. It's scalable and it's customizable based on the needs of a project. This is how almost all VPS hosting works now. It's run across multiple servers, whereas in the past, like I said, uh, it would only run on a physical server and that physical server would be partitioned. Who should use VPS hosting? This can be a very difficult question to answer because everybody has their own requirements. So some of the ones that I've thought up of that sort of fit the rule of thumb are high traffic blogs, uh, a, web, a web development company or site, uh, a website or someone that operates multiple websites, or if you're using process heavy applications, such as real estate listings, small to medium sized e-commerce, large directory sites, or websites with reservations or bookings. All of these generally need more resources than you would get from a shared hosting option. Where to get VPS hosting? With hundreds of options out there, it's difficult to see what are the options that are going to be best for you. There are literally hundreds of different VPS hosting companies out there, and they all offer something different, although their claims can be the same sometimes. 
Some of the big things that I look for when finding VPS hosting are, how are the system resources? What am I getting for the price? How is the support? Is it 24 seven? And is the support knowledgeable? That one is very difficult to find without actually having issues. So you're not really gonna know until you are able to provide or start getting some problems. And when you approach the support, is it going to be able to help you or are they just going to try and send you to a knowledge base without actually looking into the problem for you? This is a very frustrating one. I've used dozens of different hosting companies and some of them are great and some of them, their support is either slow or they're going to try and basically pawn you off on their very poor knowledge base. You want someone if you're gonna use VPS hosting, that is going to help you, is going to actually look into your problem and help find a solution. So there are two companies that both myself and, and many of my colleagues in the web design uh, field recommend. One is Liquid Web and the other is SiteGround Cloud Hosting. So with Liquid Web Cloud VPS, it starts at $59 per month but you can get 50% off for the first three months using the promo code FASTVPS50. For SiteGround cloud hosting, uh, it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it starts at $80 per month. And really to take a look at which one's going to fit you, I suggest checking both of them out. Both of these companies have very good reputations and excellent support group. So if you're looking for VPS hosting, these are two that I would recommend.